what was this feeling? I, I know you guys have been getting beat up here for, for a few weeks. <laughs> uh, I mean, we got to win. So, like you said, we've been getting beat up. That's what you want to call it. But went to the crowd, you know, just tell them. We can win some games, so y'all stick with us. We're going to – y'all ride with us. Yeah, and uh, to add to that a little bit, just really glad that, you know, that crowd, our home base is still sticking with us. Yep. Um, a very special shout out to them because uh, they're still believing. They're still showing up, and they definitely had a presence, definitely had an impact on this game. So, uh, thank you, Dog Nation. Um, keep keep uh, continuing to support us on that. That's just that. Um, just having that experience those past couple games that we have, um, kind of like lost those leads. Um, us coming together in the time, I'm like, hey, I mean, we, we've been through this a couple times now. Uh, we're experienced now. Um, we, we figured out that if we talk to each other while they're making that run, it's calming us down, making us more poised, making smart decisions, trusting each other. And, um, and that's helping us uh, stick with that lead. I just follow up on that. Coach Crane talked a lot about leadership needing to be collective from this team. At that moment, did you feel like there was – I mean, uh, we're all leaders. Everybody on the team is a leader. So we all come together and we listen and accept uh, criticism if someone needs it and we take it and try to be better. But I feel like we play like that because uh, Coach uh, John Linehan was like, you see what they're doing in warm ups? Like they was walking through warm ups, you know, like, oh, we're going to beat them. We're going to blow them out like we did previously. So we just took it upon ourselves and we felt disrespected. So we came out there and played hard. And how you been doing health wise the last week and a half? I know you came out and told us. Yeah, definitely, because uh, my shot uh, doesn't feel the same. But I'm getting back. Uh, I was, I'd be in the gym every night around like 11, 12 o'clock. So I'd be working on it. And my teammates encourage, encourage me every time, like, keep shooting, keep shooting. It's going to come back. So I'm just trying to get the, I'm trying to get the feel back. <coughs> and I'm going to ask you about Kamani Kamara. Uh, like last night's game, I think he went to the line seven times. And there was an observation that they put the foul hands. Like, that. if he gets six, I'm just how big was that? I mean, like I always tell uh, you guys, Jumani's a, a great player. Um, I feel like he's one of the best players in the SEC basketball, but, you know, he he can shoot the ball. A lot of people may think he can't shoot, but he definitely can shoot. And he came up big at the free throw line, a couple steals, free throws, and not to uh, mention the uh, deflections he had. Well, he had like 19, 19. deflections. That's so, like, that was big. Like, sometimes it was two on one down there. He walling up, taking charges. Like, he always come through big for us, so. Anybody who don't think too money is contribute to our team is just crazy. Question. Uh, Coach, you guys, how, how do you guys build off this uh, with what's left of the season to you know kind of not make it to school by the other night, but to you know get, get more wins and everything else? Um, as far as building off is the, uh, off of this win, just knowing what we did well. Um, you know, statistically, it wasn't our best night, and we know that, but we know why we got the win. And we held them to even lower percentages than we did. We fought, we competed every possession. Um, we talked to each other, like Coach Crean has been wanting in the past, like just that communication, everyone stepping up to be a leader. Um, and we really did that tonight. Um, we can do that, and I'm sure our, our offense is going to come eventually. Um, we're going to shoot the ball better, no doubt. Um, and we're going to be pretty hard to stop. But, uh, I mean, this is, this is a great building point, and um, we're looking forward to to Saturday. Yeah, you just talked about um, Rayshon Hammonds early in the game. I mean, he's said himself he had some tough times this year, but what kind of a difference does Ray make when, when he's playing like he was early in the first half? How much can we got to this game? Um, I feel like uh, when, Ray put, when Ray puts his mind to it, nobody can stop him. So I tell him before every game, like, Ray, nobody can guard you. You just got, you got to go out there and play hard. So once he realized that, I mean, no matter who you put in front of him, he, he's going to score. He can shoot, he can dribble, he can pass. He can do all of, the, all of the above. And I feel like Coach Crane does a great job by putting him in positions to score. And I feel like Xavier does a great, does a great job by get, getting him the ball. So that's about it. Yeah, when, when Ray's assertive and uh, he's setting the tone early, that changes the team dynamic. Because um, you worried about Ant, obviously Ant. You got Jordan Harris. Uh, you got Tumani who's running, running the floor now. Um, he's finishing, then you come down with Ray. I mean, that's, that's a mismatch in SEC. Like Ant said, he can do it all. 
And for him to come out with that big start, I mean, that was big for us. And um, I'm sure that's a confidence booster for him. Yeah. And um, yeah, that, he's really, he was really, really good for us tonight. Yeah. Two more questions. I don't know if you remember this point of the game, but uh, Auburn's kind of make a little bit of run. Uh, Hammonds gets his fourth foul, and Coach takes uh, uh, Ant out to, to rest him before the eight-minute mark and, you, you, and kind of gave you guys the lead to who was left on the floor. How important were those couple of minutes to get to that eight-minute mark to still have the lead? I, I don't think you, were, you might have lost a point out of it or something. I know it's a big. That's just showing our maturity, and we're growing. Um, and that maybe those games and prior prior to this game, um, we might have lost the lead. We might have let that 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 run they went on might have been a little bigger. Um, but that just shows like like growth. Um, we trust in other guys um, to come up, step up, and make big plays. Being solid, not turning the ball over, um, sharing the ball with each other, talking to each other. Um, just for us, like you said, come out to that eight minute mark um, with the lead still is big for us. I mean that's not that's not not a thing that everyone's gonna notice. But uh, to us, I mean that's that's maturity. Um, that's what Coach Crane's big on, and that's what we're trying to uh, do every day is mature. Any more questions? All right, thanks, guys.